Why do I have to leave? The question comes from your lips to mine to yours and then back to me. The love is still there. We both know that's true. But if I don't leave now, the only way I will is with rescue. I swear this isn't your fault, baby. It's just that while I'm in your arms, I'm finding it so hard to be me. I swear it isn't you. You haven't changed since that first day I heard you say my name at that crowded party in that noisy room. Your eyes met mine, and that was the beginning of me and you. Similarly, when I landed on her shores, desperately crawling on all fours into the strength of her embrace, the crashing of her waves, lapping at my feet, I rose to meet you, Halifax. You taught me what love could be, somehow saving me from the uncertainty, the diversionary tactics that growing up could be. You offered me room to breathe, but still I huddled, afraid of washing my feet in your sandy shores, needing scores more than you could possibly have been expected to provide. I stood and I lied, hoping talent was contagious. I'd stand in front of all your stages, but never once offering a word of my own, never once picking up that microphone despite all that needed saying. I'd sit back purveying rooms all over your streets while the courageous weren't afraid to dance to their own beats. I listened to Top 40 radio and called another city my home. Even though we both knew it was a lie, even though we both knew I could have died or never woken up, you claimed me and offered me your cup on my thirstiest day. You satiated that thirst and wiped my tears away, saying, it's okay, you'll be ready someday for your heart to spill the words that she can't contain for the life of her. You both claimed me. I lost my virginity to you in more ways than one, and when I said I was done, you let me go. Stronger than me, you always were, I know. Leaving the known of your grasp, I thought I'd find the strength I'd been seeking, but instead found my way into the arms of that beautiful man. Both of your loves unconditional, neither of you having a superficial bone in your body. You'd stand in front, beside or behind me, wherever I needed you to be. But it turned out that I needed to be free, to learn to stand on my own two feet, answering only to me and my life, not ready to be any man's wife, nor any city's groupie. You both claimed me when I needed to be nursed back to health, and I won't ever be able to thank you enough for understanding. I had to be by myself. Wow.